What's up, Rag Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, for today's video, uh, we're going to be doing a short video um, showing you guys how to uh, remove the Alpina display, um, the Alpina logo on the instrument display, and pretty much how to um, use Bimmer Code Expert Mode and code um, any logos that you want on your um, on your iDrive um, iDrive instrument cluster. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in in this short video. Before we head into the coding, uh, today's video is sponsored by um, ECX Tools. Um, this is the OBD adapter that we're going to be using to code um, in today's video. If you remember my previous videos, um, I've been using the OBD um, CX um, link, but this one is a is an Ethernet Wi-Fi um, OBD adapter, so it should be significantly faster than just using the Bluetooth from the, the OBD um, CX that I've been using. So um, shout out to them for sending me this to um, share with you guys. And like I said, this is a, is a this video is sponsored by them today. So this is a is a device I'm going to be using. It has an Ethernet port at the bottom as well, and obviously your OBD connection. So we're going to be testing this out as we go ahead and code in today's video and see how fast it is. Once you're in the Bimmer Code app, just go to Settings and then click on Adapter, and then you're going to change that to um, MHD Enet Black. Uh, once you do that, just go back and then hit connect. It should connect um, once the device is connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're in. Um, the vehicle is now in diagnostic mode. Uh, and this is pretty quick. Uh, you could tell by how fast it's going. That's really fast. All right, uh, now we're going to be I'm going to be showing you guys how to code um, this logo right here. So the Alpina logo right there. We're going to be trying to code that um, from the, the instrument cluster. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can code um, like other logos up there. For example, M logos, M3, whatever logos you want to load up there, you can actually code that. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that with, um, with expert mode right here. So we're going to go to um, instrument cluster. Uh, this adapter is rapid actually. It's really fast. Um, you can go down to expert mode right here in the left hand corner. Click on that. And then once you're in, just uh, like pull down on the screen so the search bar appears. Once the search bar appears, um, just go ahead and type in um, this uh, word right here. So that's uh, Schriftzug. Uh, it's a German word. I'm not sure what it means. Um, or the Seum logo or something, or uh, maybe instrument cluster, not sure. But just go ahead and type in uh, Schriftzug, like you see it right there. And once um, all that comes up, you're gonna click on the last one. So that's uh, logo, Schriftzug, um, 3001 KL parameter. So tap on that one. And then once you tap on it, you have all the logos appearing now. So um, Alpina is already selected since we're already um, have the Alpina dash um, on the instrument cluster. If you scroll down, you have E drive, hydrogen, um, M240, M2 GTS, M3 CSL, M4 CSL, M550. Um, you also have just the M logo by itself. So M logo and then M sport logo. Um, so yeah, these are like all the logos that you can actually code into the vehicle. Now, I'm not sure if you actually need like a separate module to do most of these codings, but I just want the Alpina logo um, like gone from my dash. So I'm just gonna be removing that. Um, so if you click on it, or not not even, if you just go down to, um, to M-Sport. So it's right there, M-Sport. I'm gonna tap into M-Sport logo and then it's highlighted with the click on the right side. And then I'm gonna go back, hit cancel, and then code. Start coding. There's uh, this ECX um, tool is uh, is bringing some rapid speeds, guys. I don't know if you guys remember when I was using the the other OBD adapter, which is the um, the the. OBD uh, Link CX. Remember that one took a while, so I had to cut the clips just so we didn't we didn't sit here for a minute. This one's at really rapid, guys. I, I definitely recommend this um, for coding. That was like less than a minute. But anyways, um, coding successful. If you look on your instrument cluster now, the Alpina logo is pretty much gone. 
but the M-Sport logo that I selected, um, it didn't appear. So I'm not sure if you need like a separate module or like a, 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 like a special module is needed for the instrument cluster to have um, logos coded in there, but I pretty much selected the M-Sport and um, it didn't show up. So, so now it also changes the instrument cluster. Remember right here, it was showing um, Alpina. Now it's just showing unassigned value. Um, I'm not sure why um, that is, but the logo is gone and we still have the Alpina um, display on here. So I'm not sure why, but also once you do that, um, it still changes all, all the modes and everything, but the logo is gone. So that's kind of good. I, I kind of like the clean look of it. I Obviously, it's not an Alpina, so I kind of don't want the Alpina logo there anyway. It would have been cool if I could uh, if I could code the Alpina um, display, but with an M-Sport logo there, which we tried and that didn't work. So if you guys have ever done this before and you're if you're familiar with it, just go ahead and leave me in the description or in the comment section, rather. Go ahead and let me know um, if there is something I'm doing wrong or like what issue um, is we're having. And um, if you want to also try this, you go ahead and do it. But be careful when you're using expert mode. Like I said, um, you could do a lot of things there, but I don't want you to like mess up your vehicle and then have to, you know, have a nightmare with that. So just be careful when you're using that. But I'm going to try and see if I can figure out what's going on um, with this. But as of now, that's pretty much how you remove the, the logos. And that's, in theory, how you would code other logos up there. For example, the M-Sport or X3, x 40 i whatever it is. That's how you would do it. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with this. And um, in the next video, I'll be sure to uh, bring to you guys any findings that I, um, that I come up with when trying to figure this out. So now that you've known um, how to code uh, the, the instrument cluster, um, so on, on the topic of, um, OBD adapters, I've been using the OBD Link CX for as many videos as you guys seen, um, up to this point. This is my first time using the, the new EX, um, C tool that it just sent me. This is a Wi-Fi adapter. So obviously it's going to be a lot faster than the, the Bluetooth OBD Link CX. Uh, they cost roughly the same or exactly the same as a matter of fact, but I would definitely recommend, um, checking out the EX C tool on Amazon. Um, it's really fast as you guys have seen I could literally code um, so let me just go ahead and just code uh, for example the M dash onto um, our instrument cluster start coding and that was like 20 seconds maybe like literally maybe 20 seconds um, that took and that's where we're at right now clearing the errors and overall it's about a overall it took about i would say maybe 40 seconds to do everything like completely but in terms of the coding everything was done like within 20 seconds and as you can see right here we have the the m dash um or the m I, these are from the actual the m3 so the the new m3s the g80 this is what the dash actually looks like but it doesn't have the the red line um, limiter up here. Uh, you actually need the M track module to have the full on um, like M stuff on the dash. But that's pretty much what it looks like. It has the the M fonts and everything on there. So that's pretty cool to have as well. Uh, we might try this out for today. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one for today, and then I'll probably go back and change it to Alpina um, later. But this is a uh, is a great tool. I can't recommend it enough. I I don't. I'm not, I'm not bashing the OBD Link CX or anything, but I think as of now, I probably will be using um, this one on the G series. And funny enough, I've actually tried the OBD Link CX on my friend's, um, I think, F, uh, F25 uh, X4. I'm not sure if I got the number right, um, but yeah, I tried it on his, on his X4. It was a 2017 X4, and this was like really rapid um, on it. So I'm guessing maybe with each um, series, it works differently, different speeds, everything, but... Uh, as of now, uh, the EXE tool is a great adapter to have, and I can't recommend it enough. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, so if you guys want a, a really fast adapter, um, one that uses Wi-Fi to begin with, um, just go ahead and grab you one of these on Amazon. I'll put the link in the video description. 
And as you can see, the Alpine logo is gone. Uh, so yeah, we're, we were able to do that, but we weren't able to code um, the M logo on there. So like I said, if you guys can help out or if you guys um, know how to do this kind of stuff, just let me know in the comment section and um, I'll obviously take a look at it. But as of now, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using this in the in my next few videos as well. Any more codings? Because this is like I don't know I, I've never had an adapter that actually works um, as fast as this one does. So go ahead and let me know what you think. If you've ever used it before, um, let me know uh, what are the downsides to using this adapter um, versus um, versus the OBD Link CX that we have right here. Um, also, this adapter actually works with um, with the boot mod. Um, Beamer link, uh, and I think MHD, uh, whatever MHD, uh, MHD three or something like that. Whatever that y'all use for um, to code like um, like performance mods and stuff, this actually works. So this is like an all-in-one um, OBD adapter versus this one only works with um, just Beamer code. So it's pretty cool to have it. Uh, All right, it's getting real hot in the garage right now, but um, that's it for the video, guys. Uh, be sure to leave uh, a comment, uh, like the video, make sure you guys subscribe, and that's pretty much it. So, see you guys in the next one. Peace.